A little breezy at this hour, but 85 degrees, you can't beat that, huh? Yeah. No, it's quite nice, right? I, I think I agree with you, Andy. We were talking about this, Natasha, the other day, where we say that 70s, 80s is just a beautiful it's time. Perfect. Yeah. During the nighttime, I think. No doubt during yeah. the nighttime. <laughs> Even 85 <laughs> in the daytime, we got the sun pounded on it. It gets hot, right? But yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we are seeing just beautiful weather here as far as temperatures go because the winds are not really making it too much of a pleasant evening tonight. So check this out. We are looking at 85 degrees, your current temperature at the airport, mostly clear skies. Westerly winds, though, we're at 25 miles per hour. These are sustained winds. That's rather windy, I'd say. I would go ahead and classify this as windy. 34 degree, or 34 miles per hour as far as gusts go. So at this point in time, it's safe to say we're seeing gusty and windy conditions, and this is all ahead of a cold front that is slowly going to push right through our area for tonight, going into tomorrow, and then really take effect this weekend. We're looking at 95 degrees, your official high at the airport for El Paso, 94 in Las Cruces, 91 in Juarez, and as for normals, 90 degrees is normal for this time of year. 95 was what we registered, so we were 5 degrees above average, 5 degrees below the record set in 2004 at 100 degrees. 70 degrees is how we started off this morning. That's rather mild, and we expect to stay mild tonight into tomorrow morning. 61 degrees in Las Cruces, 69 in Juarez. So here's that cold front we've been talking about. This is the one that's going to continue to just drop, and as it does, it's going to be bringing in windy conditions, much like what we're seeing now, and then much cooler temperatures. So I'm excited about this particular part. 93 degrees. That is your forecast high for tomorrow, but we are looking at windy conditions, 15 to 25 miles per hour. So it's going to be windy, gusty for tomorrow as this cold front approaches. We're looking at 91 degrees in Las Cruces. Westerly winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's that cold front that I'm telling you about. That's a storm system, and as it continues to descend, well, that's all it's going to do is just bring in those windy conditions, cooler temperatures, very slight chance of rain as we're seeing the tail end of this system, and that's about it. After that, we're going to be seeing really nice, pleasant weather, so here we go. 10% chance of rain on Sunday. This would be Sunday night. We're really not expecting to see much more than that. Gusty conditions, though, throughout the day. Unfortunately, we're still dealing with the winds at this point. 87, your forecast high. So that, I would say, is close to seasonal, a little below average for the first time in a very long time here. Now, if we do see some rain on Sunday, that would actually break this dry spell that we've had in El Paso. Again, the 10% is very slight. It's not very promising whatsoever and if we did get to see any rain it would not be measurable rain and only a small part of El Paso would get to see any kind of precipitation so like I said not looking too promising 94 degrees on Monday and then gusty conditions Wednesday as we see another slight cool front and then we're back into the triple digits by Saturday of next week I do want to give a big shout out to our weather watcher this one goes to Ken Strong thank you so much for allowing us to see the sunrise by the Oregon Mountains and if you like to be featured on KTSM 9 news some Submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email. News at KTSM.com. We'll be right back.